can come through and get that shootout winner. Uh, he was awesome the whole game. Um, I actually hadn't seen him do a shootout, you know, because he's a rookie. But I asked Newell um, who the three guys would be, and he chose Killon and Leo was the second, and that that uh, that was an unbelievable goal he scored. So uh, we needed that, obviously. It's been eight in a row, you know, losing games, and it was uh, you could feel a little stress on the bench towards the end. Um, and I thought we really rebounded well in overtime, with some quality chances. And, and what turned the game around after that first period? They scored that kind of tough goal at the end. Well, you know what? I th I love the way we played the first period. We put a lot of pressure on them. We were getting pucks back. We were creating shots. Um, and they're so good at transition game. Their D get up to play so fast. And that's obviously reflected in, you know, Byron getting two and Tays getting one. And we just got a little bit sloppy on our coverage. We got our third forward caught deep. Um, and really, that was the only issues I thought we had. Um, and then as the game, you know, get past the first period, we just kept telling our guys to push it. And, uh, you know, Newell has done a great job with the power play, and we get two power play goals. And, um, you know, Thomas penalty killing was, was outstanding. Shut them down in their power play and get two on the peak, uh, on our power play. So it obviously was a difference maker. Leo was very close to hit a goal in the OT yeah. to hit that goal. Is yeah. that the moment that you guys sort of kind of felt like, okay, he's, he's ready, let's just... Yeah, he had a couple close calls. Like, you know, he had a, he's not just a shooting. Like, he's, if you notice in this, I think it was the, might have been the third period, he shot one off the side of the net for a stick that most guys wouldn't see. It never hit, hit didn't hit our stick. But um, I'm honestly not worried about him at all scoring or generating offense. I didn't see it hit the crossbar. I thought it hit the goalie shoulder, but it hit the crossbar. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't say enough about him. And he's like, he's so coachable. He made some risky decisions. I thought the blue line trying to keep pucks in, and uh, in a three-three game, and he comes back to the bench, and it's not going to fly Leo in the NHL. And he gets it. You know, he he's uh, he makes adjustments from one shift to the next. Bit of symmetry. I mean, this is the team that started this the losing streak, and now yeah. you guys get the win. Uh, you know, just your thoughts on the, the 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 level that the group is at now with this victory, and also, of course, heading into another matchup with them in Colorado. Nice. So we've been, you know, like this, uh, you know, the the losing streak it eats away at you, right? Like I tried to tell them yesterday in our meeting about, you know, you you can't become your thoughts. You have choices to make, and a lot of these thoughts are driven by the media. That they see, you know, zero and eight. They pick the paper up or the internet, so they think they're losers, right? But if you just take the score out of it, which we try and do as coaches, and create a process that we can measure from game to game, we actually should have won three or four games in the eight that we lost. Okay, and then I've said this before, and maybe the six-game winning streak we had, we probably should have lost three. So if you get glued on to the results and not the process, then you're really leaving the outcome up to the to the spreadsheet and not your actual play, right? So, um, and we had a great meeting this morning just to kind of, and we actually used the last game in Colorado where we optically got smoked eight to two, but analytically and scoring chance wise, it was a fairly close game, five on five. So I think that perked them up. And um, I think the, the group was just, and you could feel it in Vancouver, we're tired of losing. Like in, um, yeah. You know, the Vancouver game got away from us in the third, and then last night's got a, or two nights ago got away from us because of penalties, and I think tonight we stayed with it and we were rewarded with a, with a win. You talked about the broader momentum swing in the game, but how about in OT? It seemed like when uh, Pavel stood up, I think it was Ranton then, yeah. when you guys went the other way, that yeah. one hey, to swing of momentum there. Well, there's some elite talent on the ice, right? Like, and I thought Cam was great, Minty was great. I mean, the... Um, you know, we don't. We didn't. You know, usually Mac T's out there because he's pretty solid and, and three on three. So we were kind of short bodies, but um, you know, we. I would say we survived the Rantanen and the uh, McKinnon rushes, and they were smart enough to counterattack off the turnovers. Any update on Mac T or what is no, it? I have. Mean, I, I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Just with a milestone game for Gibby tonight, mm -hmm. how much did you sense the team kind of pushing him to get this one for him? Well, they, they, Gibby's a popular guy, and he's uh, well-respected in the room. He's been around a long time. I mean, the guys are pulling for him every night. But tonight was special that he had that record, though, or that uh, stat. Coborn, a milestone as well, goal 200. But uh, imagine assess this as he, as he did as his best game so far as a duck. I mean, he really had his legs yeah. in it, it seemed like. It's funny because uh, 
we've been waiting for that to show up, right? Because you know I, I've seen him enough from the other bench, and and he's he's usually visible. Like he's, he's he was in a team full of stars with Stamkos, the Kucherov, a Pointer. You know, they had so many guys go through there, so he doesn't have that that A star status, so to speak. But uh, he plays such a game, such an impactful game because his size, his reach, he's physical, his net front ability. On his defensive re, uh, reliability, we, we just hadn't seen that, you know, and a lot of it's driven by his skating. And tonight he was skating. I was surprised at how he was getting down, up and down the ice. So I think a lot of that has to do with Leo, because Leo's, Leo's a real effortless skater and matching his speed. So he, he was great. I, I'm really proud of him and, and happy for him, too. You lose McTash early on in the game, and you kind of have to do a little bit of uh, line shuffling. Can you talk about the resolve and the resiliency of the uh, other 11 guys to kind of make it work throughout the game? Yeah, that was, um, you know, we, we had some matchups we were trying to get against McKinnon. And, uh, you know, Mac T's part of that. And then he goes down. So you had to move. Like, we only had, uh, you know, Sammy was with Henrik and with Leo. And so you, you notice you put Bo in there. So Bo has played center. So it, just, it was just, I don't want to go on, but we're just trying to, you always say it's called bingo ball hockey. You're just trying to put the guys in the right spots. And I thought they responded well. Do you sense a huge whoosh of your league? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that grades on you. You know, you can spend it all you want. You know about the process and you know the measurables that we look at that reflect the quality of your game. But you keep losing. It's still you know you're losing. So you you just feel it. Uh, I haven't been through anything like this. I think since I coached at Northeastern my first year, we went like three and twenty four or something. I was like, please, not one of these again. <laughs> so. Um, but again, it's it's hard. You got to stay positive. You, you can't you can't like I have a little goofy things I say, but you are what you eat, right? So if you keep keep eating bad news, you're gonna stink, right? So uh, we kind of flipped that on them when, when we had a meeting in Vancouver, and I I thought we deserved pretty good in the last three games. All right.